Season 1, Episode 12, Live Bait for Northern Pike. Hey guys, it's Andrew here from Hookset Angling, and today I have a great show for you guys. We're using live bait on in Minnesota for some Northern Pike, and this is just a very fun way to fish. It gets you so many fish. We caught about 20 pike in this episode alone, not counting all the rest from the week, but... So, that was Charlie's, and those are the glasses that we wear. If you catch a fish, you have to wear them, and you have to wear them until somebody else catches a fish. So, it's just a lot of fun. And what we're using is just live bait, like chubs or red tail or whatever. And we just put them on a circle hook, like the smaller circle hook, so when you catch a fish, it wouldn't gut hook them. So, what you do is you... Just cast in your live bait, whatever you're going to use. Crank it very slowly. Let it sink first. Crank it very slowly. Then you keep cranking it. If you and you, if you get a weed, which is where you're going to want to fish, you're going to want to fish by weeds. If you get a weed, just kind of pull it through very lightly. You don't want to hook any weeds or it'll screw it up and the fish won't hit it. But if you feel any subtle little bump it's a fish so what you want to do is you want to open your bail and you want to let the fish take it for about 10 seconds because you don't want them to gut hook it and all you do is crank when you're using a circle hook you never set the hook you'll never catch a fish i guarantee you so just keep cranking and just make sure that you're keeping your rod tip bent because if you keep your rod tip slack the fish the hook won't get set into its lip because that's how you're going to set the hook basically with pressure against the fish. So that's just basically how we did it every time. We just go motor into a bay or wherever. If we find some weeds, just catch a fish in the weeds. And the deeper you are, the bigger the fish. The deeper the weeds, the bigger the fish that are in those weeds. And the shallower, the more snakier or smaller the fish get. So this is a triple header right here, and we didn't really expect this, but the f northern, I don't know what was going on, but the northern were on fire this after that afternoon. And so RJ had his, they measured his, they're releasing his. Now they got Luke's, they got a Boga Luke's, and now they got Ryan, so they have to Boga Luke's, or Luke has to gill his, and then they have to get Ryan's in. So it was just really chaotic but it was so much fun to do this and we did about three trips of this and we bought out all the bait stores so it you can tell it's good fishing so there's the pictures from all the fish they were nice pike too they weren't all like smaller but they weren't all smaller and they weren't and they were basically all in the slot see now I lost that fish because I set the hook you're not supposed to set the hook, and you lose your bait too. Usually if you don't set the hook and you lose a fish, the fish just spits it out. So that's perfect footage right there of what we do. We just open the bail, and then you crank it up. You crank, you got to crank fast with your rod tip up to the side, and then you'll catch them most of the time unless they don't have it after 10 seconds. And do not wait after 10 seconds. And I guarantee you, you will gut hook the fish. Always count to 10 or less. So here's some other pictures of the fish in the day that we caught using live bait. Caught a lot of fish. And it was just so much fun. Live bait is probably the best way to fish. But it's just so much fun. You just take some friends out. Just go live bait fish. And you'll probably catch one. So these are from earlier in the week. This is when the cousins weren't up, and this is the first week. We go for two weeks to Minnesota just to fish. So, And this was the first fish using live bait we caught in that first week and the first fish we caught on the trip. So we were really happy about that one, but it's, this one's pretty small, and we couldn't keep it because it was too small and we had to, and it wasn't even in close to the slot so we just released it and with pike they're really this one isn't but with pike they're really 
they it take you have to revive them or they could die. So what you do is just stick them in the water and kind of massage their stomach a little bit. I know it sounds weird, but it actually helps. And just massage their stomach and splash water in front of their gills so then they wake up and swim away. Now this fish was weird. It was a nice sized pike. He was like 25 to 29 inches. And he has these huge scars on his side. He has these cuts, open wounds. I guarantee you, I bet you he got hammered by a muskie. But we don't know. So that's it. And thanks for watching, guys. Please subscribe.